All right, and welcome back to part three of CNC late turning using Masticam X7. Up to this point, we have learned how to create operations for rough facing and rough OD turning. And I'm gonna walk you through the steps of finish facing and finish OD turning. So the first thing we're gonna do is, again, left click right next to the red arrow, right click, wand over late tool paths and click face. Now for the finishing operations I'm going to be using tool number two. So I'm going to click on tool number two right here. It has the same tool nose radius. It's still a 55 degree angle tool. And for the feed rate we're going to set it at seven thousandths per revolution. 700 constant service footage with a max RPM of 3000. I'm going to turn on the coolant for the finish operation. And since we're making a tool change, we're going to go ahead and put a check mark in the forced tool change box. And in the comment section, I'm going to type finish face because that will post out in your program. And that takes care of this page. Then we click on the tab for the face parameters and everything is set properly. A hundred thousands entry amount, which is the approach above the stock that has been removed using the rough OD operation. Mastercam knows that the material is gone, so it bases this hundred thousands entry amount based on removed material. All right, so the finished step over, we only have five thousands left, so it's going to do a ten thousands pass, so it will be just one pass, leaving zero stock. So we're going to click OK, and that was a quick preview. We'll go ahead and verify. And you can see the tool is positioned 100 thousandths above the part in line with Z0. And I'm going to finish the face. You can see that the tool is going to go past center, making sure that it's all the way cleaned up to the center. All right, so that takes care of finish facing. All right, so now that what's left is the finish OD. So again, we're going to click next to the red arrow, right click and we're going to pick canned finish. Now we're going to pick tool number two again. We're still going to keep the seven thousandths per revolution, 700 service footage, 3000 max RPM, and we're going to make sure that the coolant is turned on. If you don't turn the coolant on, it will actually post out an M9 turning off the coolant that was turned on in the facing operation. All right, so we're not going to make a forced tool change, so we're going to leave that blank because we are already using tool number two for finishing. But I'm going to put a little comment in there saying finish OD. All right, so that takes care of this tab. Then we'll go to the canned finish parameters. And right here, you want to make sure that you select the canned operation to finish, which is the lathe canned rough operation. Then we're going to retract 50 thousandths at the end of the pass and we say OK and then we're going to verify real quick and you can see it starts 100 thousandths front of the part it uses the same geometry that was selected for the rough turning cycle and it finishes the OD complete alright so the next thing we do is we're gonna go ahead and post out the whole program so I'm gonna select all operations and I make sure that there is a check mark on every folder. I'm going to click on G1 Post Selected Operations. I click OK. I give it a name, Rough and Finish. I'm going to say Save. I say Yes. All right, so here's the program, and uh, we called it Rough and Finish. It starts out with tool number one, doing the rough face using the G72 rough face can cycle. Alright, so then it goes into the G71 rough OD can cycle using P120 and Q130, which of course refers to the N120 and the N130 down in the geometry section. Then we'll go on and make the tool change to tool number two where we finish the face. It wraps to X1 inch 1978Z0 sets the max RPM and the service footage to S700 and makes one finish pass to X minus 0625. Wraps to Z.1 and goes into the finish OD operation 
wrap it to a clearance plane first, then calls a G70 with a P120 and a Q130, which looks at the geometry between the N120 and the N130 used in the rough can cycle operation. So it makes one finished pass, goes back to a clearance plane, turns off the coolant, turns off the spindle, and homes out both X and Y. And of course the M30 ends the program. Alright, so that takes care of the finishing phase and finishing OD operations. That takes care of this video. In the next one we're going to cover the grooves that are machined in this part. I hope this was helpful to you. I thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.